All right, but let's let's get to this, Rob. Shady McCoy, LaShawn McCoy, who uh, don't bite his tongue, <laughs> don't mince words. Let's give him credit for that. He's one of the co-hosts on Speak for Yourselves, or Speak, just Speak, now on FS1, which actually follows my show, uh, First Things First. But um, Shady Rob went off on Dak Prescott and actually got criticized for it by some pillars in the game. We'll, we'll share that after we hear Shady's comments. First of all, Dak is ass, right? Can I say on TV? Because he is ass, ass. whatever you want on Okay, that's one thing. This is the second game that he's just lost mm. by throwing picks. He threw two picks to the, pa- the, the, uh, the Packers, right? Had 14-point lead, mm. lost, come back. They was up 17. My man, 17 and lost picks. That first one, that pass he threw, the second one, not the first one. The first one was terrible. Do you agree with that? Yes. That was uh, awful. Like, where was he throwing that ball to? Dak Prescott has the easiest job and uh, the second easiest job, right? The first, I go to Purdy. And, and Jimmy G with, with the um, Niners. Yep. Great defense, right? Run the ball very well. Make safe passes. Dak has the easiest job in football. The, the, the picks he throwing, those aren't even not, like, he's not even trying to, like, like, like fit, fit the ball through the needles or the small little windows. These are, like, easy passes. Now, uh, Rob G, tell us, there were some uh, guys that criticized Shady for his comments. Yeah, there's been a few. Um, you know, Kurt Warner chimed in. He wasn't as direct about it, but... Tony Dungy, friend of the show, who is one of the most respected voices in all of sports, not just in football, he put a very direct tweet out there. Let me pull it up for you guys. And he addressed uh, Shady directly. Um, pulling it up right now. Sorry, we got a lot of tweets here from this guy. You know, Tony Dungy got a lot to say. Says, <laughs> uh, not when what? it came to who was the guy he he. he uh, not when it came to John Gruden, he didn't have anything to right. say. I remember that? Okay. So he ahead. says, was at cut on dime, LeSean McCoy, watching this game, Dak 23 of 32, 56, and three TDs. He threw the, t- the two INTs. The first one, his arm was hit as he threw it. The second one was right in the receiver's hands. Dallas defense gave up 503 yards and 40 points, and the loss is all on Dak. Really? Question mark, question mark, question mark. I, I'm with Tony on this one, Rob. And, and not that Dak shouldn't get criticized, but they scored 34 points. He did make some mistakes. The first interception was horrible. The second one hit Noah Brown in the chest. Got to catch that ball. And that obviously was a pick six that ended the game. But you score 34, Rob, against Jacksonville? That you should win that game. The defense gave up a ton of points, and uh, forty is is what Jacksonville ended up scoring. Obviously, one was a pick six, but um, look, Dak has had, you know, he's had as we said, Rob, seven interceptions last four games, uh, eleven this season in nine games, highest t- interception ratio in the league. So he is certainly deserves some criticism, but to say he is horrible, which is essentially what Shady said. That's ridiculous. He's not elite. I'll say it because I was saying he was on en route. He ain't en route right now. We'll see if he ever gets en route. But he's not an elite quarterback, but he's also not a, a bad quarterback. And I think uh, Shady went went way too far with that. Uh Shady played in the NFL to get on television and give us a critique of Dak by saying he's ass. Is that is that what what happened? Yeah. I mean, basically. Uh, uh, come on, we need a little bit more than that, right? You played in the NFL. We don't know what we're talking about, Chris. We're just reporters. We didn't play the game, but th- that's the co- that's the uh, Least common denominator to just say somebody's ass. I just don't like that. That part is shocking to me. That he well, thought that he thought that that was was going to be okay to say when you can you could criticize that. Chris, you just gave up all the stats. Right. He has ter- eleven t- interceptions in nine games. It's terrible. It's terrible. Okay, right. and you can say this has been a Dak problem all year. Give the numbers. And if you want to, you know, uh, give him a break for the last one or whatever, or say it bounced off the receiver and the guy picked it up and ran it in, 
But when he turns the ball over like that, they lose these games. If you want to go there and bring those things up, that's fine. Don't go to lowest common denominator. That's what calling Dak Prescott ass is, Chris. It's well, not analysis. I, I'm right, sorry. Well, the, the, you hit it on the head, right? Not analysis. Um, I think the reason you get a Tony Dungy, a Kurt Warner coming out like, what? Is because from ex-players, Rob, and coaches, they expect more analysis. Right. I think from reporters, they, I mean, not that we don't know the game. We know it. We don't know but it. But we like don't know them. it like they know it. Down right. And O's. Right. And so they understand that if a reporter's saying that, you know, they don't expect Stephen A to break the game down like J.J. Reddick. No, but right. Right? No. The, the, and they get it. And That's not our for place. an ex-player, like, no one expects you or me to, to break down the film on right. TV like Dan Orlovsky. Right. You know, and we shouldn't. That's not our lane. I mean, every once in a while you might show something because you know the game, but, but that's you don't not know it like lane. them. Right. And that's where I think they look at a guy like Shader. To be honest, I think, Rob, any ex-player who was doing this type of analysis or lack thereof, and they're like, dude, really? Give us a little Rob, more. We, we, we've talked about it, and I like Paul Pierce. We talked about this, though, uh, who was doing analysis on ESPN. And I don't mean as a person. I mean, I like him as a person. But, I mean, I thought what I, I do like players, Rob, that come out and just say they're not worried about, they're not afraid to criticize players or coaches, right? If they see something that they think is a ride, that, that, that's, they say it, That's right? why Barkley's one of the best in the business, and there a lot go. of players don't like him, and it's fine. And he's gotten to that point, Chris. I'm sure it was hard in the beginning, but he has a job to do. I, I respect Charles Barr. He lost his friendship with Michael Jordan because he said what everybody knew, that he wasn't a good executive when it came to player, uh, drafting players or whatever. I mean, that's what he said, and it cost him his friendship. But And I think, like, do, do you remember, like, there's a fine line, though, between – saying something that, you know, saying a guy can't play or play poorly or whatever, like, you got to be able to back it up. You got to back it up, and I think that's what they wanted from Shady. I mean, like you said, you don't have to go to the lowest common denominator. That, that's what that was, by, call, by saying but he's ass. Chris, have you ever right. heard that analysis from anybody? No. That a player's ass? <laughs> I, just, no, I, I had was... to ask Rob G, can you say that? On TV, I get. I mean, can we can. say it on the radio? Say I'm word. saying it. I don't yeah, know what I'm but, saying. You know, like I agree with you, and and I think Rob, we talked about it with Patrick Beverly when he went on first take. Remember, and he was ripping Chris Paul. I was like, look, he can do if that's what he wants to do. Hey, no, we I, all know right, Chris is right. great and better than him, better than you know, a hundred times better than Patrick Beverly ever thought about being. But if he wants to criticize him, fine. But then Rob, when we saw him. Talking about give the bag to James Harden. It was like, dude, you got to be objective. You're going to sit here and rip Chris Paul, but say Harden had a wonderful year and he did this huge contract, right? That So that's where an ex player, and I know you talk with a lot of ex players about getting into this business. Don't be afraid to speak your mind, but I would say, Rob, be able to back up your comments, be able to back up your strong takes. That's what you have to do, Chris. That's what it all comes down to is people don't have to agree. But if you could just back it up or they say, I say all the time, people say to me, at least I know where he's coming from. Do you know what I mean? Right. Like, 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 okay, I know how Rob got there. I disagree with it. If I, even if I say Tom Brady's the load and I give you four or five situations where I think he – something lucky happened for him, at least I have a path, right? right. I, I'm right. making a case. Right. You right. got to have that. I just can't say he's lucky and I can't give you any examples. <laughs> right, right. Just live on that. I've said it before, Rob. If Look, obviously it would be ludicrous to say Scottie Pippen was better than Michael Jordan. But if you get up there and you argue it with some charisma and you have some logic, I don't know how you can find much logic for that, but yeah. you have some, that's one thing. You can't, you got to back up everything that you say, particularly, I think, Rob, as an ex-player. I'm 100%. Now, and one I'll give, look, we mentioned Barkley. 
Barkley's just different. Barkley's a Rob, I don't know the strength of his personality or something. He can make comments. He could actually, he probably could say what, what Shady said. And people would love it. But he's built that up. I mean, he's but he's been around for he's been around maybe forever. part of it's because he was such a great player, right? And and he's been and he and had he's that been personality there. as a player. Yep. Uh, I mean, but it's different, and nobody like him, Rob. When I was at ESPN, they were always trying to figure out how to get the NBA pregame show to compete with Inside the NBA. And I said, "There's what it's Barkley, you, right? <laughs> Unless you're getting him, it ain't right. gonna happen. It's I mean, let's just happen. face it." You got to find the next one, but who knows when that'll come.